Good morning, my name is Mike Dan. Um, you're here today at Cisco to learn a bit more about Lynx's Smart Wi-Fi. Um, today we announced our first Lynx's Smart Wi-Fi router with AC technology, the new wireless standard. Um, here you can see it, it's a great design. And we've combined that with a Lynx's Universal Media Connector, the WMC710, that is also AC enabled. The router is uh, connecting to your broadband connection and uh, is equipped with the AC technology on the 5 gigahertz band uh, that enables speeds up to gigabit speeds over wireless. And the media connector, you can use that to connect, for example, your smart TV and your Blu-ray player to your wireless network. This combination is ideal or a great solution for HD video streaming on your smart TV, for example. It's not only the, the, the hardware uh, that makes smart Wi-Fi uh, unique, What's more important is our smart Wi-Fi platform that you'll see here on the screen. Um, it is an improvement over our previous um, user interface. Um, and what you see is that it's a cloud-based infrastructure. You can log on to your uh, home network from anywhere, inside the home, but also outside the home. And what you see here is, is an overview of what's, what the status is of your network. Right? You see that my laptop is connected to the internet. I see that there are 12 devices connected. Uh, the guest network is switched off and media prioritization. The smart TV, the iPad, and the Galaxy Tab here get the most uh, priority in terms of network traffic. You see the router settings here on the bottom, right? You set the router up once, um, and it's a, it's a very intuitive process. Uh, it's a three-step installation wizard on a CD. And after that, you can create optionally your Lynx Smart Wi-Fi account, which will bring you here. In the interface, you can see um, what devices are connected. As you can see, we have quite a few devices connected here. You can create friendly names for it, you can change the icons, you can really make it um, an intuitive overview of what's happening on your network. You can see that some iPads are offline, some are online, so some are disconnected, some are not. Uh, you can see what's connected on the guest network. In this case, there's nobody connected. Um, you can also um, easily connect devices. So if you want to add a device, um, you can do that using Wi-Fi protected setup. Um, you can connect a USB printer or a USB storage device to this product as well. Um, and this interface is also available on your mobile device, like your tablet and your mobile phone. And if you um, use that on your mobile device, you can, for example, do exactly the same as I just showed you, but then on a mobile device. So you can manually add a device, you can use Wi-Fi protected setup, but we also integrated a, a new feature is using QR codes. So you can scan a QR code to connect another mobile device. And with the Lynx's smart Wi-Fi router with the AC technology, we introduced also simple tap with NFC, near field communications. So there's a small near field communications card shipped with the product that you can use to connect your smartphone to the network. What you can do in the interface um, other than that is, for example, uh, media prioritization. Right? There's a lot more going on in the network today. Uh, people are streaming more on-demand video, people are watching TV on an iPad. Um, media prioritization is becoming more important. You want to make sure that you have the best experience on the products where you care most about it or on the services that you care most about. So in this case, you'll see that we prioritize the traffic for a smart TV, for the iPad, for the Galaxy Tab. Um, what you could also do is say, I'm a, uh, I'm a big streaming fan. Uh, I use Spotify quite a lot. Um, so I could prioritize every device that uses Spotify uh, over the other network traffic. So you can make sure that your music always continues playing. This was always possible in previous models as well, uh, but it was not as intuitive to set it up. As you can see, it was a simple drag and drop in order to get it into the priority queue. One of the things we're doing with Smart Wi-Fi as well is work with partners. Um, one of the partners that we've announced here at the show is LG. Um, what we do with that is we recognize when an LG Smart TV is connected to the network, and when it's connected to the network, the user will get an email on his email address that he specified during account creation that there is a Smart TV connected to the network, and if they actually would like to prioritize that traffic in order to get the best viewing experience. Um, the other thing is parental control. Um, 
You can control what websites are being checked. You can, for example, block specific times, internet access. If, for example, I want to make sure that my son uh, does his homework um, at a certain time, I can make sure that he's not allowed to go on the internet on these days and on the weekend it's free to go. Um, the good thing about the Smart Wi-Fi platform is we opened this up to um, software developers as well. So it's not only us developing for this platform, and it's not only our app that is available with it. We actually have mobile apps from uh, third-party developers as well. Um, and one of them is um, the Gemini IP camera viewer that I have here for you. And what the IP camera viewer basically does is it will help you connect your camera with a Wi-Fi protected setup sequence so you can connect the camera and it will automatically also make that stream available for you remotely without you having to do any settings all you have to do is click one button and click the WPS button on the camera the rest will be done by the app on the background then when you walk out of the home you still have that same view available on your mobile device like you can see here <laughs> um, another app that we uh, that we have is NetProofer uh, that you see here on this, uh, this nice Galaxy Tab. Um, what you can do with NetProofer is basically do the same that you could do with parental controls in, in the smart Wi-Fi tool in the, in the browser. But what NetProofer does is really create little profiles. So they say, you know, if you would like to block Facebook, all you have to do is touch this button. In this case, everything is, all devices are blocking Facebook right now. So if I would go on my PC here to Facebook.com, you'll see that I actually get a blocking screen and the user cannot continue to that website. So it's not only possible that you um, do that for specific websites. Um, Block the Bad is another app that we have running on iOS in this case. Um, and with Block the Bad, you can select a filter level. So you, the level one is for malware, uh, level two is adding adult content, and level three is family unfriendly websites. Basically what you do is just select your level and switch it on or off. And it's really as simple as that. So in this case, I need to log in again with my smart Wi-Fi account, um, which I won't do. It will take too long. But you get the point. This all um, is available today already uh, in the Middle East. Um, the smart Wi-Fi router with AC, uh, the model number is EA6500, is available for 999 dirham. And the wireless universal media connector, the WMC710, is available from today starting at 599 dirham. Thank you very much.